it's Kugle again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got Moki open source ROM for Galaxy S3. Now I have previously reviewed Moki ROMs and I, in my opinion it is one of the best uh, ROMs available for S3 because it is a really simple but it has a lot of features to back it up too so that is really nice so now what's the difference now this has actually moved up the chain from KitKat to Lollipop so that is really awesome and this does uh, some things which no other ROMs right now does so that is really really awesome so let's get into the ROM now first of all what you will see here is the lock screen um, nothing special right it's a normal lock screen which you would expect from any other Lollipop ROM so yeah uh, here is the launcher which is similar to what you would expect. This is a CyanogenMod mod launcher. Now, this is based on CyanogenMod, so whatever um, bugs which you know of, which is already in CyanogenMod ROMs, are going to be here. Uh, this is an open source project, so that is really cool and all. Uh, if you know what that means, pretty good for you. So yeah, uh, let's get into the settings now. First of all, what you would see here in the settings uh, about phone page is that this is Android 5.0.2 they have moved up and that does work out really nicely uh, they have a community mfuns uh, that is a site from which you can download this um, mfuns.com so that is really cool uh, also SLNX status you can see it does have the um, sc scrolling effect uh, so I'll get into that later uh, so yeah that's pretty neat now this is something which I really really appreciate the Moki Center which is uh, I'll get to that in a minute first of all let's let's show you guys the features now this doesn't have a ton of features to say uh, because it is relatively a simple ROM uh, which you can use as a daily driver because this is really good uh, let's get into the extra settings now first of all in the status bar settings you have clock styles uh, you can have center left or hidden or right as it normally is that's really cool uh, network speed indicator it comes uh, default is outgoing and in incoming uh, speed is indicated there so that is really neat uh, network speed now def uh, status bar carrier uh, you can enable that it will be shown there if you use the center clock that would be much better if you are planning to use the show carrier option uh, custom carrier label is available uh, battery percentage you can select um, battery percentage sty uh, battery style icon landscape icon everything you can have that battery percentage inside the icon outside the icon Ba brightness control using this one is available so that is really cool because uh, you can actually r remove this slider altogether like in the any other ROM it's not a special uh, feature available only in this ROM it is a nice inclusion show notification count it will show a notification count if you have more than one notification so yeah pretty cool notification drawer settings now quick pull down show whether all of these goodies are available so you do have all of that settings quick setting panel you can actually customize this it does include all the cyanogen mod stuff which you can get uh, so all of these are available system timeout you can access that compass does work out so I really like compass option in the status bar so it works really neat so yeah, and last the first two rows, you can have three here or two here. If you disable this, it will be two. Uh, if you enable that, it will be two. If you disable it, it will be three. Uh, show brightness slider, this is what I was talking about. You can uh, you can disable the slider altogether to get more um, of the tiles in, on the same panel. So you can have that. Advanced location settings, you can click the location tile and get into the um, uh, various options you have so high accuracy device only and battery saving so you can have that also that's pretty neat that is it in the notification drawer settings now it does support themes so as you would expect from any other size and mod 11 uh, 12 ROM, it does support themes which is pretty neat pretty awesome it is really cool to have a theme support for size 12 because yeah material theme is while it's really awesome and all uh, people will be bored and would like to try on other things and without flashing a new ROM you can try out new styles for your phone so that's really neat now smart controls this is a extra feature I guess um, this actually incorporates the direct call in dialer and direct call in MMS which was actually introduced with the Galaxy S3 and every carrier mostly every company has actually moved away from this so this does uh, bring it back so if you use this good for you 
because it works uh, so yeah that is neat and awesome um, now display options now most of the other st stuff are similar but these have a few extra settings in here so as you can see ambient display is working ambient display does work so that is really cool um, this one had I mean I've used ambient display with resurrection remix not the latest version a, ver a few versions previous to that uh, it's not the best implementation uh, but this this one does really work out I mean I got a few notifications here and it does work uh, better than what I've seen yet so pretty cool um, yeah animations option you have list view animation so it is in wave right now you can see the wave animation you can have it do anything else alpha is something which I really like and there is uh, something else also it does have an interpolator so if you want to accelerate and decelerate um, all of that it will work so pretty awesome double tap to sleep is there so you if you don't want to use your hardware button you can have that working for you really really cool adaptive brightness is to select the brightness levels uh, if you have this disabled this thing will work so now um, in the sounds and notification option that is a normal thing you will see all of these working when devices lock app notification these are normal options which you will find in any other lollipop roms uh, buttons option you do have buttons you can select what uh, what all things work volume key answer you can enable volume key press to actually answer your calls so that is that is something extra which uh, I don't think any other ROM has so that is really cool I mean I would prefer to use the home button for answer which I think is available yeah it is available answer call with home button but if you are paranoid that you will answer a call in your pocket uh, the volume key answer might be good for you I'm not really sure uh, so yeah that is there um, volume button big device playback control really awesome I mean I use that every time even my Z3 right now has it because I've already rooted it so yeah playback control is so awesome that is there uh, that is it with the extra functionality now the really awesome part about this ROM the Moki Center now those who have already used Moki ROMs will be familiar with this this is a really cool tool which actually updates your ROM I mean it's not a new implementation but I like these this implementation rather than anything else like the liquid updater or the uh, carbon updater or TA settings this one does provide incremental updates what does what does that mean I mean if a new ROM comes out if you have in, uh, nightly installed even a new nightly comes out it will not download the entire ROM that is a really really great solution for someone like me who is on the go a lot of times and I am extend I in a, in extended uh, extended duration of time I will be away from a fast internet connection and I don't want to download a 200 meg file just to update my ROM I can download a 20 meg file and update my ROM and have the all the new features so that is really cool incremental updates are not I, I if I'm correct uh, no other lollipop ROM provides incremental updates now also I haven't received incremental updates on this ROM because this is running the latest version according to that uh, this was installed uh, this was the 3 2 2015 version uh, last check today but haven't gotten any updates so I'm not really sure if this works or not but according to the forum or according to the website it does if it does it is one of the best features for now on a lollipop ROM because that is really really awesome so yeah let's get other stuff so yeah it does have an extra menu which from which you can download the G apps for this which is awesome you can download a 38 meg G apps file you also have Google face unlock if you use face unlock feature you can have that so mm, yeah you can also go to their uh, lists and their websites and forums if you want to see all of these these does have now this does have a lot of plotware I mean this is a Chinese ROM basically because Moki and fun start yeah this is a Chinese ROM it does have a lot of Chinese plotware with it uh, let's show you guys the boot animation which is pretty awesome I'll show you guys that so here is the Moki OS boot animation which is really cool I mean it's the Moki pig <laughs> it's badass so yeah that is pretty much it about the ROM now let's uh, show you guys the apps with which it comes as you can see it does have a lot of bloodware you can see all of these are Chinese apps uh, 
apparently opened one so yeah you can see I don't even know what that is uh, these are extra this is extra this is extra well that's a Moki forum app which can be given out uh, these are extra extras 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 the only thing I've installed are the titanium backup and uh, and to do benchmark which guys come on this all of these should be in one page uh, it is taking up one and a half pages on experience launcher so that is extra blotware which is not required but uh, I'm not here to judge the ROM by its apps so yeah let's show you guys the Antutu benchmark score which is a really really good thing um, this one has about 27,137 and you can see it's a non-verified score because I didn't have the internet at that time uh, that is a pretty good score I mean it's certainly higher than the normal 26,000 uh, about a thousand extra so yeah I'm not really sure what made it I mean it's not an overclocked ROM uh, it is not overclocked it is at stock lock so that is the highest I've attained with a stock lock so now the battery life is also something which is really uh, different about this ROM I mean yeah, or I've been using this. This is the uh, benchmarking score. Uh, during benchmarking, it is going down. So that, well, that is uh, expected. It is showing three hours left. Battery life is kind of on the lower side because it's not very good. Uh, also, when my phone, uh, the phone screen was off, it was having a bit of drain. You may not be able to see that there, but it did have a drain. Uh, so yeah the battery life is not the best on this rom the rom also the rom uh, claims that it has a extra battery saver feature but it's just normal battery saver of lollipop so uh how effective that is uh, that has to be tested by you so yeah pretty cool so that much is it about the rom i mean it is basic rom in terms of features but if the moki center app does what it's supposed to do giving me incremental updates um, this is probably my daily driver if that is the case I mean for the features yeah it's not uh, if I'm going on a long trip yeah this is this could be my daily driver so that is really cool about this ROM so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye